In the fight over who represents you, the state Supreme Court sided with Democratic, Democratic Governor Tony Evers picking his voting map. But lawmakers from both parties are pushing back. As Jason Kelby shows us, it also means your candidate choices could change. The once-a-decade census leads to once-a-decade fights over new legislative maps. The legislature and the governor could not decide, so the Wisconsin Supreme Court did. They picked Governor Evers, saying it had the least change from the last map. These maps come a little closer, not all the way, but a little closer to ensuring that we have fair elections in Wisconsin. Republicans are still guaranteed a majority, but they're likely to have a smaller majority if they get less votes. Assembly Republicans currently have a 61 to 38 seat majority. In the Senate, it's 21 to 12. In Governor Evers' maps, there's actually fewer competitive districts than under the old law. In the state assembly, that number drops from 17 to 12. And so what that means is there's going to be even more districts that are either very Republican or very Democrat. Democratic Senator Lena Taylor is worried about race. It's a sad day. The new Evers map creates an additional African-American majority district, but Taylor says that actually waters down the black vote. You can just see seven, Jason, and say, oh, well, that's more. But you have to look at the percentages that of people and African-Americans in particular in each district, and you have to look at the totality of the circumstance. What does that mean? Mass incarceration's effect on that number, voter turnout on that number, and voter age of the population. On Friday, legislative Republicans asked the Wisconsin Supreme Court to temporarily block the new maps from going into effect. They plan to appeal the state high court's decision to the U.S. Supreme Court.